Hello, welcome to Moist Nugget. I am the kid. And I'm Dan Lee. We are uh, recording on a Tuesday afternoon this yes. week. We were supposed to do an episode at the cabin, but we let time get away from us. We didn't get one in Yeah. Uh, on Saturday at the cabin. Yeah, and unfortunately. So we're squeezing one in on a Tuesday. All right, well, I guess we'll jump into our top five now. What I was saying earlier about the top five is uh, our top five this week is our, our top five favorite circus acts. I haven't been to the circus since I was probably four or five years old. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm 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 grabbing at the bottom of the barrel here as far as uh, top fives go. Oh yeah. Uh, and circuses are kind of going. They think they've gone away for the most part because of the animals and stuff. A lot of these people weren't treating the animals properly. I think, I think there's some still out there. Yeah, with, with one the, of the uh, big ones went away a few years back. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know which one, but yeah, probably like operating costs are so huge. I mean, I I could see where that would really, COVID would really disrupt that. Yeah. Well, I think it was before COVID. There was a lot of the the treatment of the animals was the big thing. I think the circuses were getting a lot of flack. About you know how they were right. treating the animals, and yeah, stuff. yeah. But we'll uh, we'll get into our our favorite acts, anyways. Uh huh. And just heads up, I didn't put any animal acts because <laughs> because of that reason. Uh huh. Uh, but what you got for number five? Um, the, the uh, th- there's one uh one person that I really like to watch. It's like, I call him a, I don't know what the right term is, but I call him a rope dancer. Yeah. Cause that'd be a rope dancer. He'll climb, they'll climb a rope and then do all kinds of yeah, yeah, acro- acrobatic things while hanging onto a rope. It's yeah. like, they like wrap it around their ankle and then hang from and, it. Oh yeah. You gotta trust that you put that around your ankle properly. Yeah. It's, it's crazy to watch. So yeah, the, the rope dancer to me was worth, definitely worth mentioning. Okay. My uh, number five is clowning. Mm-hmm. Got to have clowns at a circus. Oh, yeah. You got to make people you know, laugh. Just coming out in their little beat-up car and, yeah, you know, doing that kind of stuff. Or just the like clown antics. little tricycle or yeah. whatever. Yeah. Whatever, however they do it. But uh, mm-hmm. um, there's a theme to the most of the rest of mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not intentionally, but it just worked out that way. All right. Uh what do you have for uh, number four? So um, the the unicycle juggler. Okay. Because I, I just think, man, that just just operating the unicycles be tough enough. But then you're 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 juggling on top. You're, of it. you're watching something, and it's you know, so you don't have to have your mind on what you're doing there right. on the unicycle because you're so good at it. So that's that's what's cool is they can spin around and juggle and just make all kinds of moves. It's it's so intense when you think about it. Just operating the unicycle for me would be half a year's worth of work. Yeah, I've tried unicycles before a long time ago. I never tried one, but I... I mean, I, I think I got up and rode around a little bit. Did you? At one point, but... Yeah, I'm such a klutz. I, I I'd be hitting the ground all the time. wasn't real good at it. It's not easy. Yeah, and then and then to juggle or ride ride forward, ride backwards, those little quick little spins they do. Yeah, no. So. Well, yeah, because they just reverse. They'll be going forward, and then they start pedaling backwards, and <laughs> it's all about balance and leaning. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I went with uh, human cannonball. Oh, that's that's awesome! The human cannonball. I forgot. Yeah. Oh, I forgot all about that. I think it'd be fun to do. Could you imagine? You get to land on that big net. Yeah. Or hopefully you land on the big yeah, net. You fly out in a normal position. What do they do? Do they, they turn and land on their back I or something? I think they probably all do it different. But, yeah. But, uh, yeah, just to get shot out of that thing, it's got to be a pretty cool feeling, <laughs> you know, flying through <laughs> the air. Do you like imagine? <laughs> what a view. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, dangerous. Oh, gosh. Like I said, if you miss the nest, the net. Um, yeah, really. But yeah, human cannonball. Then there's the um, the the. It's like every circus has a ring, right, in the center. 
That's why they call it like a well, three ring, three circus, ring circus, because yeah. it'd be like one big ring and two smaller right, ones. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, the um, the jugglers, um, on the in the on the the in the rings, are either uh, they can be um, uh, with juggling um, like. I guess you could call it juggling because they got those big hoops. They look like big hula hoops, but they're bigger. Yeah. And they've sometimes they've got like 10 of these things going at once. Yeah. I don't know if that's considered juggling or not, but. Yeah, I don't know what else. Similar to, to juggling. Though. Yeah, I don't know what to call it because, you know, you might have these are going one way. This is going another. Hula hoopers. And, uh, you know, or, or whatever. <laughs> yeah, hula hoopers. So they're. They're just amazing to me. Yeah. It's like, how the hell do you do it? It's just crazy. The learning curve looks to me so in- incredibly hard. Well, I think these circus performers, like, grow up around it. It's like uh, yeah. my number three is the trapeze. And usually that's like a family. Yeah. You know, the uh-huh. trapeze. Any kind of the trapeze, it's just crazy swinging around on those slings and, mm-hmm. you know, like tightrope. I guess I, I don't know if that's. Not really considered trapeze, maybe, but yeah, yeah, trapeze is definitely uh, swinging around on those slings. Yeah, swinging around, catching each other, and mm-hmm. trapeze. I always thought was pretty cool, though. Oh, definitely, definitely. Uh, my uh, we're on number two, right? Yep. Uh, my number two is the the fire eaters. Okay. That's like that's just wacky to me. Yeah. That's just crazy. Cuz they're they're like they're they they'll also juggle the what they have. And yeah. then and then it's like the the big grand move is to is to eat eat the flame. Yeah. <laughs> or or spit it out. Or spit it out, yeah. So, yeah, they they, they always amaze me. I'm like, "How the hell can you work with fire?" Yeah. That's just so insane. I wouldn't want to. Oh, no. I went with uh, the Globe of Death. Oh, the Globe of Death. Does that, that spin around? That's the globe that the, the they're on motorcycles inside it going oh, yeah. all around in the oh, inside yeah. of the thing. Yeah. I always thought that was pretty cool. That's right. Sometimes they get two or three of them in there, and they're I don't know how they're missing each other, but they're, oh yeah. you know, I always thought that was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Globe of Death. Yeah, you're on a heavy machine. Yeah. Yeah. Well, wow. Well, that that's just, it's just all momentum and gravity and yeah. And, uh, really, and, and if you wipe out and you're on top, you're taking the other ones with you. Yeah. Yeah, because they're not very big. No. No, they're not. Um. Yeah. Globe of Death. Uh huh. What's your number one? My number one act? is um. Uh, these these guys that perform on ladders, but it's a freestanding ladder. Yeah, you ever seen you've seen that yeah, before? I've seen it at the uh, Renaissance Festival. Yeah, it's it's amazing. They, they talk about balance. Yeah, they'll climb the ladder and then they can walk it if they want to. Yeah. They can just their movement. Well, climb right over the other to the other side. Climb to the other yeah. side. Get up on top. And uh, like I, I saw one um a uh, balance of balance a book when they were climbing it so they were looking straight up so their this sense of balance must be so incredible incredible because they they weren't they weren't using their eyes at all right because they were balancing their the book on their across their like the bridge of their nose they had to uh look straight up you yeah. know to do that the, because the book the book was turned on its edge mm-hmm. and climbed the ladder got to the top stepped over and then took took the book off their head and like they were reading it or whatever yeah it's definitely cool and uh, i've only seen it at the renaissance festival but and then when they come down they'll just they'll just tip the ladder and when it they've got their timing has to be just right and the ladder will hit the ground and they'll do this couple of somersaults or something and stand jump up you know yeah so I always thought that that freestanding ladder was like, oh, that's incredible. It's definitely pretty cool. Yeah, especially when they get on like a tall ladder. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah. Without a doubt. 
This is uh, it's sort of it's not similar, I guess. But uh, my number one is the Wheel of Death. Oh, the Wheel of Death! Wow, that's like that big arm, and they and they got to run around the. It, it, like it goes up, and they got to run around and stay uh, up. Oh, okay. You know, if they didn't keep running with it, you uh-huh. know, they'd just fall off. Yeah, yeah. I always thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, that's insane. Yeah. <laughs> the wheel of death. Wow. I don't know how else to explain it, but yeah, no, I know what you mean though. It's that's crazy. I always thought that was one of the cool ones. Yeah. Uh, and that is our top five. Makes me want to go to a circus. Circus acts. Yeah, I don't hear about circuses much anymore. Nope. You know, they used to come through every year, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's any in existence anymore. There was a, I don't know what it was. Was it Cirque du Soleil or something down by the Speedway? Yeah, that's that's kind of a. Like a mini version of it? Well, I don't know if it's a mini. I think it's a little bit different. Oh, okay. I think they're all acrobats and stuff like that. I don't okay. know if they really have like clowns and. I'm oh, not sure. But oh, okay. I, I think it was like a Vegas kind of uh, yeah. thing oh. for a while. Right. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm not 100% positive. Yeah, because I, I never I never stopped to, to look or inquire or, or get tickets or anything. So yeah. I just figured it was, uh, it looked, looked pretty big. I figured it was just a, a regular circus. It's just a, a, a small circus. I mean, it but, could be. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Or either. maybe set up like a circus, but I don't, I, I don't think they had any animals or. Yeah, anything like that. I think they were just all wearing crazy costumes and uh-huh. doing all kinds of oh, okay. crazy shit. Right. Yeah. But I couldn't tell you for sure, hundred percent sure. But mm-hmm. well, I guess that wraps up our episode, our, okay. our makeshift episode that we yeah pulled on on a Tuesday afternoon. But, right. Uh, hopefully, it wasn't too boring. <laughs> <laughs> But thanks for listening. I'm the kid. And I'm Dan Lee. We'll catch you next time.